us. First up, everyone, two canines getting new safety equipment that could help save their lives, and all of this coming completely free. Both of the La Follette Police Department's canine units getting bullet and stab protective vest. It's all thanks to a national nonprofit founded with the goal of giving the expensive departments items like this for free. WATE six on your side reporter Madison meets one of those lucky canines with the new gear and hears from his partner on why this addition is so crucial. Checking my camera for the narcotics he's been trained to find. Got to sniff everything. Check it. Diesel's just doing his job. We don't look at them any different than the other officers. They're one of us. Blyven. He's Detective Matthew Forsyth's partner. And sure, Diesel's got four legs and a tail, but this team's strengths help each other. When we're hunting a suspect who has fled into the woods, it is a very good feeling having a dog out in front of me that has a tremendous nose, showing me the direction of where the gentleman is or the suspect is, and allowing me to have that heads up. The vest Diesel's wearing is a big deal. It's bullet and stab protective, costs nearly $1,000, and yet it was given to the La Follette Police Department for free. You can see in memory of Anne Co. Francisco. Stitched on the front, a memorial. The story behind the name, unknown. Yeah, it's pretty awesome to have that on the front, you know? What Forsyth does know, the company behind the donation, vested interest. Now, vests like the one Diesel's wearing can start at $800 and go up to two dollars or $3,000, a price that a lot of local departments don't have just lying around, which makes this donation that much more important. While we know he's here to protect us as officers and to make our job easier, we still want to take him home every night. It's very important to us. Forsyth says Diesel doesn't wear the vest all the time, only in high threat situations. In La Follette, Madison Keevy, WATE 6 on your side. Now, according to the website, the nonprofit behind the vest in La Follette, Vested Interest, well, they've donated nearly 3,000 vests just like those to canines all across the country.